Good morning. Welcome to today's yoga class. It's going to be a half a flow. We will um, we will see what we will do. It will be a bit of freestyle. <laughs> I have a, quite a, a little idea, maybe some balancing poses, maybe some arm strengthening. And that's it. Let's begin. Find a comfortable seated position. Make sure that your knees are lower than your hips. So maybe sit onto a cushion or maybe a block or maybe a couch pillow, anything that you have at hand. Lengthen the spine, roll the shoulders back and down, close your eyes, start to take a few breaths here, arrive onto the mat. Feel your body, start to move your body. Start to noticing your inhales and your exhales. Feel the air flowing in, your chest rising, and feel the air flowing out your chest lowering. Let's begin with our usual Kapalabhati breathing. We will do 50 rounds. Kapalabhati, forceful exhalation through the nostril and at the same time contraction of the abdomen. It looks like this. We inhale, the, we fill the belly with air and we exhale through the nostril and contract the abdomen. We will do it 50 times. I will guide you through the first repetition. Take a deep inhale. Exhale all the air out. And begin when you're ready. So your last repetition, take a deep inhale. Hold your breath, tuck your chin to the chest, pull the abdomen in. And exhale, release. here to feel the effects of Kapalabhati breathing, a re-energizing pranayama, and a preparatory practice, so to be cleaning our body, air pathways. And then slowly open your eyes, and let's begin our physical practice. You can remove the pillow if you were sitting onto a pillow. Sit with your leg extended, flex the feet, inhale, both hands reach up, exhale, fall forward and down. First forward fold, a soft one, try to keep your back straight. Avoid the rounding of the spine, we want to really open the chest, lengthen the spine, start to gently Feel the arm strings, the back of our legs and our spine getting a good stretch. One more 
deep inhale. Exhale, release, hands next to your buttocks, cross your legs, and then roll over onto your hands and knees. Wrist under your shoulders, knees right under the hips. Inhale, arch the back, look up. Exhale, round the back, look at your tummy. Inhale, arch, look up to the sky. Exhale, round. A few more times, you can follow your own breathing. You don't have to follow my cues. When you inhale, you drop the belly to the floor. And when you exhale, you round your back, pushing the shoulder blades up to the sky. Inhale, drop for a few more times. Exhale, round. One more time. Inhale, drop. Exhale, round. Inhale, drop the very last time. Exhale, bring your spine back to neutral. Push the shoulder blades towards the ceiling, tucking the tailbone, bring the navel to your spine. Inhale. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift the knees off the ground just a few centimeters, starting to activate our core and our leg muscles. Hold, look to the floor, or slightly in front of you, try to keep the neck in neutral spine. One more deep inhale. Exhale, slowly start to extend your legs, push the hips back and up and enter downward facing dog. You might want to maybe readjust your stance, more space between your hands and feet. Hands as wide as your shoulders, fingers spreading onto the floor, rotate the bicep in towards your ears. Open up your shoulder, your armpits and your shoulders Push your seat bones up to the sky. You, you really want to push the seat bones up. You can see almost flaring our buttocks out. Maybe you want to keep here the knees bent and stay here. Or maybe keeping the seat bones pointing towards the sky, you can extend the legs and reach for the floor with the heels. Knees bent or knees extended, both is fine. The important thing is that we're making a straight line from our fingertips to our hips. Hold this downward facing dog. Start to feel the stretch into your lower back and start to feel the strengthening of your upper back. Really press the floor away with your hands. One more deep inhale. And one more, exhale. Inhale, lift your heels, round the upper back, move onto a plank. Exhale, bend the knees, push the hips up, press the heels onto the floor, down dog. Inhale, lift the heels around the upper back, shift your weight onto your wrist plank. Exhale, bend the knees, push the hips up, press the heels down. Down dog. One more time. Inhale, lift the heels. Round the upper back, plank. Exhale, bend the knees. Push the hips up, heels onto the ground. Down dog. Inhale, lift the heels. Stretch the sole of your feet. Exhale, start to walk your feet towards your hands. Feet hip width apart. Inhale, lift the chest, look to the front. Exhale, fall down, grab the opposite elbow. Hang in here for a few moments. Feel your legs strengthening, your leg stretching, sorry. Let your head hang loose. Allow the weight of the head to pull your spine apart. Feel the decompression of every vertebra. Knees might be slightly bent or maybe extended. Try to keep your buttocks in line 
with your heels. Focus on your breathing. Feel your belly touching your thighs when you inhale. Last long exhale. Inhale, bend your thighs, bend your knees, thighs touching your belly. Exhale, lift the core and the arm up to the sky. Once you're up, tucking the tailbone flat back. We don't want to stay with our butt out. We want to tuck in the tailbone flat back from our fingertips to our hips again. Oh. Weight of the body evenly spread onto the two feet. Look to the front. One more inhale. Exhale, see if you can maybe go a bit deeper with your hips. Buttocks towards the floor. Inhale. Exhale, slowly release, extend your knees, bring your hands in front of your heart, interlock the finger, push the palms out, inhale, lift your hands up, exhale, look to the floor and lift onto your tippy toes, standing balance. You can play with the standing balance, maybe keep your feet hip width apart, or maybe walk your feet together, toes touching each other. See which one you prefer. to change it up sometimes, not always do the same thing every single time. Focus on your breathing. Don't forget to breathe sometimes, especially in balancing poses, we forget to breathe because we are tense. We try not to fall. One more deep inhale. And exhale, release, hands in front of your heart. Let's start our sun salutations. Inhale, both hands reach up. Exhale, go forward and down. Inhale, lift the chest, look to the front. Exhale, step your feet back into plank. Inhale in plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, onto the floor or chaturanga. Inhale, slide up into cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes, push the hips up, downward facing dog. Inhale, look in between your hands, step or jump to the front of the mat, lift your chest up. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, both hands reach up to the sky. And exhale, hands to heart. One more time. Inhale, both hands reach up. Exhale, fall forward and down. Inhale, lift the chest, flat back, maybe hands onto your shins. Exhale, press the hands onto the floor, step back into plank. Inhale, in plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, slide up into cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, push the hips back and up, down dog. Inhale, look in between your hands, step or jump to the front of the mat, lift your chest up. Exhale. Fall forward. Inhale. Both hands reach up to the sky. And exhale. Hands to heart. Last time. Inhale. Both hands reach up. Exhale. Fall forward and down. Inhale. Lift the head. Look to the front. Exhale. Step back into plank. Inhale in plank. Exhale. Knees, chest, chin, or maybe bend the elbows back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look in between your hands, step to the front of the mat, lift the chest up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, both hands reach up to the sky. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, both hands reach up. Exhale, fold forward and down. 
Inhale, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, step back into plank. Inhale, in plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or bend the elbows towards the back. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Press the back of the feet onto the floor. Exhale, round the upper back tighter. Hips are lower as in a plank position, but the upper back is rounded. Engage the core. Deep inhale, drop the knees, tuck the toes. And exhale, extend the knees, downward facing dog. Hold this downward facing dog, rest. Make sure that your hands are in line with your shoulders, fingers spreading onto the floor. Open up your shoulder blades, push the hips up to the sky. Feet hip width apart. Rest in here. Knees bent or knees extended. Hold. Good. Petra, you can maybe step in a bit closer with your feet and open up your hips. Yes. Open up, sorry, the shoulders a bit more. Good. Deep inhale. Exhale out. And then start our standing sequence. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Flex the right foot. Try to keep the leg extended, even if it's a bit lower, it's okay. Hips squared, don't open up too much onto one side, so keep the hips looking towards the floor. One more deep inhale. Inhale one more time. Exhale, step the right foot in between your hands. Take your time here to adjust your stance. Bring the right knee on top of the right ankle. Only then, exhale, or inhale, lift the core and chest up. High lunge warrior. Right knee on top of the right ankle, right thigh parallel to the ground as much as possible. Left leg extended. Thumb in between the four fingers. Exhale, lower the hands down. High lunge warrior, good. Hold this pose, strengthening our right thigh. Deep inhale. Exhale, drop your hands to the floor, framing your right foot. Step the left foot in, maybe uh, a foot distance. Exhale, see if you can extend the front leg, lengthen the spine, open up the chest. Pyramid pose. If we cannot keep a flat back, maybe you want to use some blocks if you have them at hand, so that you can lift, elevate the floor, can help you keep the back more flat. Or maybe you can just come up, bring your hands onto your hips, elbows pointing back, look towards the front. Feel the stretch in the back of the right leg. Hold. Go back to your breathing. Pyramid pose is one of the best poses to increase arm strength, flexibility. This is step one of a full split, which we will not do today, don't worry. One more deep inhale. Exhale out. Inhale. Bend the right knee, thigh touching your belly. Bring your hands in front of your heart. And then exhale, extend the right knee, lift, kick the left foot up, warrior three. I will step back up. We're here, warrior three. 
you can stay here, hip square, left, left foot flex, maybe micro bend into your right knee, if the leg is not completely extended, it's okay. One more deep inhale. Exhale, see if maybe you can extend your arms out, palm of the hands facing each other, hands in line with your shoulders, making a big letter T with your body. Deep inhale. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Start to hinge your body up. Don't drop the left knee foot. Bring the left knee up. Grab the left knee with your hands. Stay here. Pull the left knee towards your chest. Engage the quad of the right leg, lifting the kneecap. And then maybe stay here. Or maybe put the right hand onto your waist. Grab the big toe of your left foot with the two fist finger of your left hand and slowly extend the left knee. Good. Deep inhale. Exhale. Bring the left knee back if you're not already there. And now bring the left ankle on top of the right knee. I will turn around. On top of the right knee. And then hands straighten out, index fingers pointing up. Slowly sit onto your right knee. Standing pigeon. How deep we bend, doesn't matter, very good job. Try to keep your gaze onto one point somewhere, on the floor, on the wall. This helps with stability. One more deep inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Both hands in front of your heart. Inhale, both hands reach up. Exhale, fall forward, hand up. Inhale, lift the chest and look up. Exhale, step back into plank. Hold. We'll turn around. Hold this plank. Inhale, left hand in the middle of the mat. Left knee onto the ground. Right heel presses onto the floor. Bring the right hand up. Side plank. Stay here, or maybe on your next exhale, see if you can press the right foot a bit stronger onto the floor, lift the left knee up. Good. If that's too easy, you can also extend the left leg. We have options for everyone. One more deep inhale. Exhale, wherever you are, place the right hand onto the floor, step back into plank, and then through chaturanga, so keep your hips, your knees up, bend the elbows back, lower your body onto the floor, like if you were doing a push-up, and then down onto the ground. Left hand reaches out onto the side, palm of your hand in line with your crown. Exhale, push your body onto the left shoulder, stretching of our left shoulder joint. Hold, we come check you out. Okay, good. Take one more deep inhale. Exhale, come back to center, counter stretch. We place the left hand under our chest, palm facing down, left, uh, right arm along your body, palm facing up. So left hand under the chest, left arm along the body, and then see if you can slide the left knee up 90 degrees. Maybe place your forehead onto the floor, 
or your chin. Thank you. Stretching our shoulders. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Release. Short break. Bring your hands along your body. Take a few breaths in here. And then with your next inhale, bring your hands next to your chest. Tuck your toes. Exhale. Push your hips up into downward facing dog. Let's take it to the other side. You guys are doing great. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Flex the left foot. Square the hips. Hips looking towards the floor. Don't open up the hips like this. But really try to keep them squared. Parallel to the ground. pressing the floor with the same strength. We tend to press more with the hand of the side where the foot is lifted. One more inhale. Exhale, step the left foot in between your hands. Take your time here to adjust your stance. Bring the left knee on top of the left ankle. Only then, inhale, lift the core and arm up. Highland warrior. Thumb in between your four fingers. Exhale, lower the hands down. Good. Left knee on top of the left ankle, thigh parallel to the ground. See if you can really extend the right knee, pushing it, yes, up to the sky. Very good. Bring the belly button to your spine. Lengthen the back. Open the chest up. Exhale, hold a bit longer. Inhale one more time. And exhale, hands framing your left foot. Step your right foot in, just the distance of a foot maybe. And then see if you can extend the left knee and lengthen the spine flat back. Again, we want to keep the back as flat as possible. So if you're, you cannot keep the back flat with the hands onto the floor, maybe use some blocks, some big books, a pack of pasta, I don't know. Or maybe bring your hands onto your hips, elbows pointing back, and keep your back flat this way. It's a bit more tiring, but it's better than rounding the back. Hold it a bit longer. We always have tight hamstrings. Try to square the hips in this pose to right hip pushes front, left hip pushes back. Good. Deep inhale. Bend the left knee and bring your hands in front of your heart. And then exhale, extend the left foot the left knee and kick the right foot up. Flex the right foot. Warrior three. Maybe we have a micro bend into our left knee. That's okay. Round the left foot onto the floor. Spread the weight of your body onto the front side and the back side of your foot. Exhale, see if maybe you can extend the arms out, palm of the hand facing each other, making a big T with our body. One more deep inhale. Exhale, 
exhale very slowly. Hands in front of your heart, start to hinge your body forward. Don't drop the right foot. Lift the right knee up, grab the right knee with your hands, pull the knee to your chest. Hold. Maybe stay here with your knees bent. Or maybe left hand onto your waist, right hand grab the two piece finger. Extend, exhale, extend the right knee. Try to keep your eyes on a point, on the floor, on the wall, on your mat maybe, so that you can keep stability. Try to engage the part of the left leg by lifting the kneecap up. One more deep inhale. Exhale, bring the right knee back to your chest. And now place the right ankle on top of the left knee, flex the right foot, hands straighten out, index fingers pointing up, exhale, sit down into standing pigeon. We might reach with our core almost parallel to the ground. If we don't, it's okay as long as we feel a stretch into our right thigh. One more deep inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Hands in front of your heart. Inhale, both hands reach up. Exhale, fall forward and down. Inhale, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, step your feet back into plank. Hold this plank for a few breath before we move on to the side plank. Inhale, right hand in the middle of the mat, right knee onto the ground, left heel pushes onto the floor. Exhale, left hand reaches up, side plank. Mirror what you did onto the other side. So maybe stay here or maybe press the left foot onto the ground, exhale, lift the right knee up, pushing the hips to the ceiling. Maybe this is too easy, so if you did it before, see if you can extend the, left, the right knee out. One more deep inhale. Exhale. Release wherever you are, bring the left hand onto the ground, plank, and then bend your elbows back, lower your body onto the floor through Chaturanga. Exhale. I switch onto the side, but you can stay in the same position. Open up your right hand onto the side, palm of the right hand in line with your head. Exhale, push your body with the left hand and roll over. Shoulder stretch. Inhale. Exhale, release, back to center, counter stretch, pass the right arm under your chest, palm facing down, left arm along your body, palm facing up. And then see if maybe you can slide the right knee up a 90 degree, maybe forehead onto the ground or chin onto the ground. One more deep inhale. Exhale, release, short break. Let arms along your body. Take a short pause here. Relax 
your shoulders, relax your legs. We're gonna work on to our back bends now. Inhale, bring both of your hands one on top of each other with the chin on top of it. And then keep your hands onto the ground. Exhale, lift your thighs and foot up. Squeeze your glutes and lift all of the thigh off the ground. Release onto the floor. This time, extend the arms out, uh, hands as wide as your shoulders, palm of the hands facing each other. Keep your feet onto the floor, and now exhale, lift the chest and arms up. Working onto our back muscles. Good. One more deep inhale. Exhale, release, short break. Next round, we will lift the arms and legs together. So inhale, extend the arms out. Exhale, lift the chest, the arms, and the thighs off the ground at the same time. Good. Try to keep the hands in line with your shoulders and your feet in line with your hips. You don't want to open up too much. You don't want to strengthen them, like tighten them too much. Just in line with our shoulders and hips. Neck in neutral spine, look to the ground. Exhale. For our next back bend, you have two choices. You can repeat what we just did, locust pose, to so lift hands and arms off the ground. Or maybe you can bend your knees, grab the outside of your ankles with your hands, and then exhale, lift the thighs off the ground, push your feet far away from your buttocks. This will automatically help you to lift the core, neck in neutral spine, Breathe. Choose the option that suits you best. Let's go. Very good. Hold for a few more breaths. Really press your heels far away from your buttocks. You will see that the more you press out, the more you can lift the knees and lift the chest up. Exhale, release. Hands along your body, take a short break. With your next inhale, bring your hands next to your chest, tuck your toes, and exhale, come back into all four. Then sit down, swing the legs to the front. Core strengthening exercise. Extend your legs, flex the feet. Sl slightly roll over your seat bones, place the hands next to your thighs, maybe halfway through your thighs. And then inhale, exhale, round the upper back, lift the buttocks up. Variation of L sit. Maybe one day we will be able to lift both feet off the ground. If you can do it, go for it. If not, we just work on it together. One more deep inhale. Exhale, release. Hands behind your back, fingers pointing towards your buttocks. Deep inhale. Exhale, lift the hips up, press the feet onto the floor. 
reverse plank. Good. Try to push the hips as high as possible, straight line from our head to our toes. And exhale, breathe in. Forward fold. Feet together, flex the feet, toes pointing up to the sky. Inhale, both hands reach up. Exhale, fall forward and down. You can choose how deep you want to go into the forward fold. If you want to feel more of a stretch into your legs, keep the back straight and grab wherever you can reach. Maybe it's your ankle, maybe it's your feet, maybe it's your thighs. If you want to feel more of a stretch into your lower back, then you can round the back with your leg extended or even with your knees bent. Different options, bend knees, give yourself a hug, leg extended, flat back, or maybe full Paschimottanasana, leg extended, rounding the back, reaching with the crown for our feet. for a bit longer. One more deep inhale. Exhale, release, hands pointing back behind our back, fingers pointing towards the back, bend the knees, inhale, and exhale, scoop the hips forward, stretching the shoulders, good. You can keep the knees bent or the leg extended. You can try both options and see which one you prefer. And if you feel any pressure into your elbows, slightly bend them, pointing them back towards the back of the room. This way you remove the pressure, pressure onto the elbow and you increase the stretch into the shoulders. One more deep inhale. Exhale, bring the knees in and bring yourself up to seat pose. Open up your legs as much or as little as you like. Toes pointing up, flex the feet. Knees also pointing towards the sky while the back of the knee presses onto the floor. Let's first do a side bend. So right elbow inside the right knee. Bring the left hand up. Try to keep your Torso open, your chest open. We don't want to reach for the foot. This is not very important. What we want to do is to bend our spine, feel the stretch onto the side of our body. So wherever we can reach is good. If you feel like you can go a bit deeper, you can slide the right hand to the front a bit and see if maybe you can bring the shoulder onto your knee and maybe reach with your right hand. For the foot. One more deep inhale. Exhale, release, switch side, left elbow to the inside of the left knee, and then the right hand reaches for the left side. Again, try to open up the chest, push the right shoulder back, look to the ceiling. The most important thing is this is the stretch onto our side. If then maybe you can go a bit deeper, then you can slide the right hand further to the front and place maybe the shoulder onto the knee and grab the left foot with the right hand. One more deep inhale. And exhale, come back to center. Flex the feet, always flex in this position. Roll over your seat bones. You don't want to sit like this, but you want to roll over the seat bones. 
and then maybe keeping your hands behind your thighs, pressing yourself to the front, maybe is already enough for you to stay here. If you want to feel a deeper stretch, you can bring the hands onto the front and put the weight onto your hands. Maybe drop onto your elbows. And maybe you can even start to slide <laughs> down and try to reach for the floor with the chest. Everyone, different level of flexibility. Find the option that suits you best. Long inhales, especially in this kind of position where we all struggle with flexibility. The best thing is to really focus onto your breathing. See the air flowing in. See, feel the air flowing out, maybe go deeper. Every time we get in, we feel a bit more stiff, and then you exhale, maybe I can go a bit deeper. Deep inhale. Exhale, slowly release, come up. Help yourself to bring the knees in. And then right knee onto the floor, left foot crosses over. You can actually even keep the right leg extended if you prefer and the right knee crossing over. Inhale, right hand reaches up. Exhale, right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Twist. Try to keep your back as straight as possible. Hold. Yes, good. Lucy, lengthen the spine, straighten up the back. Good. One more inhale. And exhale, release. Come back to center, switch to the other side. Left leg onto the floor, bent or straight, up to you. Right knee crosses over. Inhale, left hand reaches up. Exhale, twist. Left elbow to the outside of the right knee. With every inhale, we lengthen the spine, open up the chest. With every exhale, we twist a bit more. always good to finish class with a twist and neutralize our spine. Long breath in and long breath out, release. Now find a comfortable seated position, whether on a pillow or onto the floor, a cushion, Whatever you prefer. Try to sit with your knees lower than the hips. Lengthen the spine, roll the shoulders back and down. Close your eyes, take a few moments here to feel the effects of today's practice. We will do Brahma Pranayama today, the Basin B Pranayama. I will show you the first round and then we can do four rounds together. So we want to just inhale, bring our hands on top of our head, close our ears, and then exhale by making a buzzing noise like mm. when you're done lower the hands onto your knees and rest. We take a few breaks between the rounds. Very simple. Let's begin our first round, deep inhale. Hands on top of your head, close your ears with your thumbs, exhale by buzzing out the air. Mm. 
When you're done, lower the hand. We need to take a few moments between one repetition and the other one. Let's get ready for second round. Deep inhale. Hands onto your head, close the ears, and Brahmari. When you're done, lower the hands onto your knees. Short break. Let's get ready for round three. Deep inhale. Hands up to your head. Close the ears. Exhale, primary. Lower the hands up to your knees. Start to feel the effects of this practice. Fourth and final round, deep inhale. Hands on top of your head, close your ears, and Brahmari for one last time. And then slowly lower your hands onto your knees. Take a few moments here to feel the effects of primary pranayama. Noticing maybe a feeling of well-being and happiness throughout all of your body. your attention to the base of your spine, to the very deepest point of your spine where your legs get together. That is your root. Inhale to the root. Exhale from the root. Inhale, visualize the color red. Exhale, visualize, red. Inhale, notice a cold sensation all over your body. Exhale, hot sensation. Move your attention up the spine a few centimeters to the height of your belly button. Inhale, sacral. Exhale from your sacral. Inhale, visualize color orange. Exhale, orange. Inhale, cold sensation. Exhale, hot sensation.
move your attention up the spine to the height of your diaphragm. Inhale, solar plexus. Exhale from your solo, solar plexus. Inhale, visualize the color yellow. Exhale, yellow. Inhale, cold sensation. Exhale, hot sensation. Inhale, move your attention up to your heart space, the most central point into your chest. Inhale, heart. Exhale, heart. Inhale, visualize color green. Exhale, green. Inhale, cold sensation. Exhale, hot sensation. Move your attention up the spine to your throat. Inhale, throat. Exhale, throat. Inhale, visualize color blue. Exhale, blue. Inhale, cold sensation. Exhale, hot sensation. Move your attention up to the point in between your eyebrows where, where your third eye is. Inhale, third eye. Exhale, third eye. Inhale, visualize color purple. Exhale, purple. Inhale, cold sensation. Exhale, hot sensation. Move your attention up to the very top of your head. Inhale, crown. Exhale, crown. Inhale, visualize a beam of pure white light shooting out of your head. Exhale, beam of pure white light shooting out of your head. Inhale, cold sensation. Exhale, hot sensation. Inhale, move your attention back to the base of your spine, to your root. Exhale, move your attention up the spine, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, beam of pure white light shooting out of your head. Inhale from the crown, back to your base. Exhale from the base, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, beam of pure white light shooting out of your head. Inhale from the crown, back to the base. Exhale from the base, moving up, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, beam of pure white light shooting out of your head. Take a few moments here to feel the effects of this practice onto your body, onto your mind. Let's slowly start to open your eyes and get ready for Shavasana and the relaxation. You can lay onto the ground, extend your legs out, feet opening up naturally, hands along your body, palms facing towards the sky. Relax your feet. 
relax your knees and hips. Relax your lower back, your upper back. Relax your belly, your chest. Let the shoulders drop heavy onto the ground. And relax all of your arms all the way to the knees. Relax your neck. Release tension in your jaws. Eyebrow bridges. Relax your forehead. Let your body sink deep onto the ground, heavy. While you allow your breath to become light. Just stay here and relax for a few moments. Free to stay in Shavasana for a bit longer. But if you want to finish class with me, start to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Make your breath deeper. Maybe lift your hands up and above your head and give yourself one last big stretch. Bend your knees slightly and roll over one side of your body. Take a short pause here. Readjust. And when you're ready, push yourself up to see it. Bring your hand in front of your heart. Let's take one last deep breath together. Inhale. And exhale. Before we finish class, take a moment to set an intention for your day. Maybe something you want to accomplish or a way you want to feel. And then bow your head and thank yourself for today's practice. Our class finishes here. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you want to unmute yourself and say anything,